her her area was was shelled and bombed and a soldier found her in the rubble um, she had a broken leg she was brought to an orphanage that is supported by UNICEF and um, nobody has come for her so this was last December um, she couldn't speak the only thing she could cry was mama and dada and nothing else and for a long time she 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 kept herself away from everybody she's traumatized um yeah physically mentally um nobody will know what age she is they're guessing she's about three and a half now um she she'll never know who her family was she'll never know what age she was she won't be able to celebrate her birthday on any day um like imagine growing up at like I have nieces that are Lily and Iola that are three and four at home and I can't imagine them growing up in a couple of years time and not yeah. knowing when their birthday is. It's cruel, you know, it's cruel. It's, um, it's, pretty, it's pretty mad but she, she's coming out of her shell now in, in the last number of months mm. um, through the work that they do. She's starting to play with other kids and stuff mm. like that and, and it's, it's brilliant to see mm. and, and like if we can change in in small way like that, that's all the better, you know. Yeah, uh, you she she stayed with you, didn't she? As a story, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was. Um, it's just because, as I said, I've nieces, and nephews at home, yeah. so I can relate to watch what her age is. And you know, you're hoping that people might donate. Yeah, exactly. Like, if they can. I, I find it funny, right? I, like, I've had lots of people kind of say gee you're a great man for going to Syria fair play to you well done it really inspired me and, and, and my question to them is then well did you go on unicef.e and donate and they're kind of look oh I'm going to do that the next day yeah. so we're very good in Ireland to kind of slap the back slap the back yeah. it, but that's no good to me uh, I, I don't I want to see I want to make a change by people actually donating and helping these people because they're the same as anybody else um, they've got they, they will have opportunities if we support them because we don't need a lost generation, and that's what it's coming to. It's like the largest humanitarian crisis since World War II. Okay, well.